Welcome back. To commemorate Valentine's Day, we are discussing chocolate and the neurochemistry of love and romance with Dr. Chris Dombrowski. For this segment of the show, we'll discuss love versus limerence. Limerence is an involuntary and emotional state in which a person feels an intense romantic desire for another person. While involves concern for other person's welfare and feelings, limerence does not. Limerence can often be what is meant when one expresses having a crush on someone else. Let's talk about the mixture of these chemicals and what it does to us. So, first of all, I wanted people to appreciate who you are, where you came from, your background. If you wouldn't mind, Chris Dombrowski, can you tell us your background and experience as a doctor? Well, I'm originally from Cherry Hill, New Jersey. I was born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'm board certified in family medicine. I work at a, a PMC, Isla Healthcare and Harmon Doctors Clinic. And uh, I've been interested in, in psychoactives since I was uh, in grade school. Okay, now tell us how you became interested in this latest study of love and the neurochemistry of chocolate. Well, it goes along with psychoactivity and my experience with my own relationships and what have you. And I was always interested in, you know, what, what is it that drives us to drive three hours for one kiss? Now, I can remember in high school driving to the Jersey Shore for that one kiss under the boardwalk. And it, so it was always a definite feeling and it would always end eventually. Yeah, of course, it always comes to the end. Uh, well, not always, actually. But in this particular case, you were talking about different chemicals that actually stimulate inside our brains when upon meeting someone for the first time that we're attracted to. Tell us more about that. Well, infatuation is created by phenethylamine. Phenethylamine is one methyl group away from methamphetamine. That's why it's so powerful. And that's why we do such crazy things when we're in love. Uh, it's a, a definite heady experience. That's right. Now, I work better with examples, so let's take Anna Nicole Smith, for example. She has been lovestruck and then lovesick, both at the same time. Uh, can you tell us, using her as an, ex uh, as an example, how that mixes with these uh, chemical-like... Well, the example would be how powerful it is. Uh, she had a lot of problems with substance abuse in her own past. And I think this was, this was an individual that was just focused on sensation and never got past that limerent stage, that psychological limerent stage. Probably never would have. Okay. Never and would just have. so folks at home who are listening, in case I didn't clarify enough, describe in your own words what love versus limerence is. Well, limerence is that feeling of infatuation. It, it's like a light switch everything changes. Love is a conscious decision. You can, you can rationalize it. You can have rational thoughts and reason. When you're in the throes of it all, and you know what I'm talking about, it's hard to think rationally. It's hard to think in a reasoned way. So there's a big difference. Remember when only lasts maybe six months up to maybe three years, and then conscious loving comes into play. Okay. Now, um, since limerence is more than just an infatuation, how long can a limerence or can the feelings of limerence last inside someone in a relationship? Some people are addicted to limerence. Some people fall in love 10, 15 times a day. And, and Give us an I'm example. Aware of that like, because yeah, I was that kind of a person. Really? In okay. You know, when I was in high school or in college, I would fall in love 10 to 15 times a day. Some people are addicted to that feeling. Okay, and... And, and then as you grow older, as you mature and you make conscious decisions, and you realize that feeling versus a conscious decision to love someone, as opposed to just going for that feeling, that infatuation, which is drug-induced. I mean, it doesn't matter what the drug is, whether it's heroin, cocaine, or phenylethylamine, mm -hmm. it all boils down to dopamine, which involves the uh, basic pleasure centers of the brain that it is involved with the evolution of mankind. That's how we got to where we are. It's a biological mechanism. It's a way for, for nature to make sure we hook up and create that baby in our hands. Mm -hmm. Now, how would you rate puppy love versus limerence? Or is it on the same playing level? That's, that's a hard uh, distinction to make. Okay. Uh, I, I think if you're well aware of it, you can go in and out of it. And you can and you can nurture that 
or nourish that in a long-term relationship. Mm -hmm. But you have to be aware of it. You have to discuss it and realize what's the heady experience. What's that sensation that you're going after versus the rational decision-making to love another human being and to support that human being in whatever they want to do in life. Would one recommend 